President Biden made investment in infrastructure one of his key priorities when he came in at the beginning of his term. And it's great to see that he was able to work with senators on both sides of the aisle to get this key piece of legislation passed through the Senate. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act provides five years of robust funding stability for highways, transit, and rail programs. And it really provides a large share of that funding to state DOTs through formula programs, which is extremely important for our members as they look to plan out their transportation programs over the next five or six years. So now we're looking forward to working with the president and with Congress to get this bill passed before the FAST Act extension expires at the end of September. Well, this piece of legislation provides five years of funding stability for state DOTs to give us that predictability that state DOTs need to be able to plan their list of projects over the next five or six years. There's a clear focus on investment in bridges in this bill, and that will accelerate the rehabilitation and replacement of bridges across the country, both big bridges and small bridges. There's an emphasis on sustainability and climate resilience. And that provides both the framework and the funding for states to identify and design programs to help mitigate the effects of climate change on our nation's transportation system. The bill also allows states to make critical investments in multimodal safety programs, such as improving railway crossings, and it makes significant investments in passenger rail programs that give state DOTs the ability to expand services in their states. So we're hopeful that Speaker Pelosi will be able to work with the House and with the President to be able to get this bill across the finish line before the end of September. It's critical that this piece of legislation gets to the president's desk before the end of the fiscal year when our federal surface transportation programs expire. If we aren't able to do that, we're going to be looking at another series of short-term extensions, and that really hampers state DOT's ability to be able to plan for long-term projects. We don't want to fall in that same trap that we've fallen in in previous years, and this is a great opportunity for us to be able to get a long-term surface transportation reauthorization bill enacted before the previous one expires. This bill really does provide a once-in-a-generation opportunity to modernize and transform our nation's multimodal transportation system. It creates jobs and opportunities for businesses of all sizes. These improvements will ensure that the nation's highways, bridges, our rail systems, our transit systems, and our bike and pedestrian infrastructure remain in a state of good repair. We're talking about making transportation safer, better, and more efficient, and improving our quality of life.